We're excited that you're interested in coming to the IRR summer program. It is probably one of the peak parts of our program and uh, we're very proud of the curriculum we've developed and helping you become a professional member of a search and rescue team and as you think about moving forward in your career in emergency management and preparedness and disaster response. Uh, it is an epic five weeks spent out in the mountains of Colorado where we cover uh, survival, wilderness medicine, technical rope rescue, swift water rescue and flood management and search and rescue. It teaches you how to become an effective leader and a good follower uh, to complete missions and it will push you outside your comfort zone and help you develop grit and just personal fortitude as you move through our program. This video is designed to help you uh, prepare for the summer program and we're excited to see uh, how you develop as an individual and uh, just pay attention and as we uh, show you what the summer program is all about and hopefully help you take full advantage of it as you think about coming and joining us out for the summer session. Students are often interested to find out what opportunities they have for weekends. You are in one of the most beautiful areas, in my opinion, in the, in the United States, in the Four Corners area of Southwest Colorado. There is a lot to do, everything from via ferratas to rock climbing, mountaineering, whitewater rafting, bouldering. There's so much to do. And uh, we strongly encourage you to go out and build your personal skill set as you're uh, building your rescue skill set during the week. You can expect to have a lot of fun and there's uh, many opportunities and we will be able to share those opportunities with you. Uh, so please come talk to us either during the summer session or uh, before we head out. Uh, on weekends as well is when students have the most opportunity to do any self-care and preparation. Uh, during the weeks, we often push very hard from 6 a.m. to after midnight for some of our scenarios. And so having time to uh, repack, um, make sure your tent is in order, do your laundry, uh, some of that it can be difficult to fit in during the week. Uh, so during the weekends is, is probably some of the best opportunities you have to, to reset your own personal equipment. Uh, laundry facilities can be found in Ure, in Montrose, um, in Durango. And we encourage you to take advantage of those opportunities. While there are some laundry facilities up at the ranch, they do uh, charge a little bit more and electricity and water can sometimes be limited with our large groups. So please plan on coming ready to do your laundry on the weekends and have at least a week's worth of clothing as you're training in the summer session. We'll be staying at New Beginnings Ranch, a huge ranch, 1,400 acres up in the mountains and backed up against the Uncompahgre National Forest. So we have a lot of room to, to, to train and play. We'll be staying at a base camp that has a solar powered off-grid bathhouse so we can do some charging and there is fresh water and we even have hot showers up in the middle of nowhere. But we do need to be respectful of the resources and, and the large group that we have and not overtax the bathhouse and the equipment that we have. Uh, so plan on short showers and, and only charging during the day. The amount of room that we have to play is pretty awesome. Uh, we are able to, to spread out across the whole ranch and even move into the national forest. And, that gives us a huge amount of space to use for training and push you in your use of the skills that you'll be learning at summer program. You'll be able to do full search and rescue scenarios where you'll be searching several square miles for lost persons uh, and then have to move into the medical care and the actual extrication and rescue uh, during the summer program. The Wilderness Survival class is designed to prepare students for emergencies in the backcountry, as well as to help them understand what our patients are experiencing in a real-life search and rescue situation. This course integrates the most current research on wilderness survival techniques and covers orienteering and survival. The class culminates in a three-day solo survival experience without supplied resources, so students are expected to find food, water, and to build their own shelter. Students check in to qualified instructors twice a day to monitor mental and physical health. Students will demonstrate the skills they've learned by constructing a natural material shelter, forage, prepare, and eat wild edible plants, and locate properly filtered water. After survival, students are tested on making a fire during a simulated rainstorm using flint and steel. The Wilderness First Aid course is taught by instructors certified through the Wilderness Medical Training Center. This course is three days long and combines classroom lecture with hands-on scenarios designed to prepare students for medical emergencies in the backcountry. Topics include patient care, hypothermia, head and spinal injuries, broken and dislocated bones, and how and when to evacuate a patient. Wilderness First Aid provides a great medical foundation to the rest of the technical rescue skills learned throughout the summer program. This class is a practical introduction to search and rescue, which is often a medical problem with an access issue. At the end of the course, students earn a certification in wilderness first aid. 
The technical rope rescue classes are designed to meet and exceed the requirements for the National Fire Protection Association and FPA rope rescue standards. This class covers pre-planning rope rescue operations, knots, anchor systems, belay operations, and ascending and descending as well as raising and lowering systems, patient packaging, and litter attending. The course also covers advanced problem solving and promotes critical thinking among the students. Safety of the rescuer, rescuer team, patient, and bystanders are stressed at all times. The Swiftwater Rescue course meets National Fire Protection Association standards for Swiftwater Rescue. Students learn self-rescue skills, water dynamics, handling hazards and obstacles, using water rescue equipment, setting up technical rope systems, and controlling and water contact rescues. The course culminates into a full-scale night operation rescue scenario. The final week of summer program is Search and Rescue Week. The class material covers search techniques, lost person behavior, incident command systems, and search and rescue. A majority of time is spent in hands-on search and rescue scenarios where students use all of their skills to find, treat, extricate, and transport patients. 